So, uh, elimination reactions, and actually I'll also be covering addition reactions, but the first one I want to cover is the E2 reaction, which uh, E stands for elimination, 2 stands for bimolecular, it's the same kind of notation as SM2, uh, but here we're making a, a, a new pi bond, that's uh, what an elimination involves. And this is an elementary step because all of the bonds are broken made in one step. So uh, this is, uh, achieves overall elimination uh, just in a concert process. There are other uh, elimination mechanisms that take place in multiple steps, and those are going to be made up of uh, several elementary steps. But um, here, everything happens at once. So an example would be something like this. So compared to things like coordination and heterolysis, you can see this is a rather more complicated process. Um, but it gets a lot done in one step, as you can see. And it's kind of driven by entropy. Here we're going from two molecules to one. This should have a minus charge on it. And overall, we end up with a minus charge over here. So notice the flow of electrons. Uh, this goes from being minus to being neutral in the product. We make a bond from a lone pair, make a bond to H, that's that bond there. We break this bond here uh, in order to do that. Then uh, the pair of electrons comes down here and forms the new pi bond. That's, that's the key part of it. And then we're breaking this CBR bond in order to make room for the pi bond. This has to leave. Carbon can't form more than four bonds, remember. And then we end up with full octet uh, BR minus. So, um, yeah. So next I'm going to cover uh, nucleophile addition and nucleophile elimination. Two uh, addition elementary steps. Uh, one involves a nucleophile uh, adding uh, to the electrophilic end of a polar uh, pi bond. And then we'll also cover in a bit uh, electrophilic addition to pi bonds. Now, it could be a double bond or a triple bond. So, in fact, we'll see normally a lot more double bonds than triple bonds. Uh, very common polar uh, pi bond is the C double bond O. So I'll use that in my example. But really what you're doing in this step is you're going to form a new sigma bond from the nucleophile. And then we also break a pi bond. So here's a typical example. Here we have an acid chloride that's uh, quite polar uh, double bond here, a delta plus electrophilic carbon. So this nucleophile, in this case ammonia, will attack there. Now this CL will also be easy to leave, but for now let's just add across the polar double bond. Now here, this is a case where we have everything neutral at the start and we have charge separation at the end, but you can see where the arrows start, uh, it's neutral, it ends at 1 plus, where the arrows end, it goes to 1 minus. Okay, and the opposite process, you can imagine, is a nucleophile elimination. So I'll cover that next.
Okay, so the opposite of uh, nucleophilic addition is called nucleophile elimination. And in this process, you're going to, since it's an elimination, we're going to form a new pi bond. So if we only have a single bond to begin with, we'll end up with a double bond. And the way it does that is we um, have a, we eject some kind of leaving group, and then um, that gives room for the pi bond to form. So um, let's, let's show an, an example of that. Uh, strictly speaking, this isn't a nucleophile until after it's left. But I guess it's called nucleophile elimination to show that it's the opposite of the nucleophilic addition. So here's an example. Um, okay, so what happens here is uh, we're forming um, a new pi bond. And in the same step, simultaneously, we break the sigma bond to uh, eject the leaving group. So that's a typical nucleophile uh, elimination. Now, we can also uh, be doing the similar kind of uh, processes, uh, addition elimination with electrophiles. And those are quite important processes. Uh, we'll be covering after we've done nucleophilic substitution and elimination. We'll start looking at some of those addition reactions. So we'll look at those next. Okay, so electrophilic addition is where we have uh, a more electron rich uh, double bond and that gives a pair of electrons to an electrophile, the net process is that the electrophile is in effect added across the double bond or triple bond. And in the process, when it adds, it's going to form a new uh, sigma bond in its place. So um, with the nucleophilic addition, I said that usually happens at polar uh, double bonds and triple bonds. And that's because if you just have an alkene, uh, that's actually fairly electron rich. We consider that fairly nucleophilic. So if a nucleophile is going to add to uh, a double bond, it would normally be a more polar one that's got like a C double bond O or C triple bond N or something like that. So um, electrophilic addition could happen at uh, a non-polar bond like a C double bond C. So, uh, as I said, these can uh, add electrophiles easily, and we form a pi bond, uh, sorry, form a sigma bond to the electrophile. And I'll give you an example of that. So, our alkene is going to be the nucleophile in this case. We have propene in this case, uh, three carbon alkene. So that will uh, break pi bond, form a new sigma bond. And we're forming a secondary carbon cation here, which isn't that stable, but is stable enough that this process can occur. And the Vr is left as Vr minus. So um, we've broken the pi bond and made this new sigma bond to the hydrogen in the process. Now, the opposite process is, as you might imagine, electrophile uh, elimination, which I'll get to next. Okay, so the final one of these common elementary steps that we need to look at, which is actually I, is electrophile elimination. And as I said, that's 
the opposite of electrophilic addition. So in this case, an electrophilic group is ejected, uh, breaking a signal bond to that, and we make a new pi bond. So an example of that might be something uh, sort of like the reverse of the one I showed you. So what will happen in this case is this is our nucleophilic center. So this is where we have to push arrows uh, from the nucleophile, remember. And this is the electrophile. Obviously, it's the plus charge atom. So okay, if we're going to get a neutral atom at the end, we're going to have to end our sequence of arrows there. And so to do that, like that. And that's the reverse of the reaction I showed before. So with those, um, I think, nine elementary steps that I've shown you, uh, we can write most of the common mechanisms. And you'll notice these all involve flows of pairs of electrons, and uh, so I hope you have a good session with Matt on Monday, and uh, we're going to practice, or you're going to practice these uh, with him uh, with some real uh, problems uh, to prepare you for the exam. So good luck with that, and I'll see you after I get back.